Evening browsers, your main man shoe browser back with another review, man. This time we got an early review of the Air Jordan 4 Reimagined Bridge. You know what I'm talking about? Let me go ahead and put that main man Vegeta out the way so I don't knock him over. All right, got the first look, you know, super kind of early, not super early, but early enough. You feel me? Official colorway, where my official colorway at? Official colorway says it's black, fire red, cement gray, Air Jordan 4. All right, it does come with the Yikum sticker in the box. Let's go over it. Starting off, we got that true red on the toe cap with all the stars with the hair and bone traction on the bottom with the Nike and red, red on the back. Okay, cement, got the cement on the midsole right there. Okay, with that nice black fresh paint, no chips. Ear unit got two. Okay, come around to the toe box. You can see how sleek the toe box is. I should have got my SB4s because that's what the um, shoe is modeled after the sb4 update version of jordan 4s but they over in the box so whatever we got that slim toe box as you can see with the gray thread nice flat black soft leather throughout the shoe kind of pebbled more so on the back but very soft as you can see to the touch like you can press it it's, it's very soft all right black on the other side as well okay black uh what the heck is this the uh nets i think these are nets black cage right there these are wings, okay, with the gray seam at the top. Black laces with the uh, jump man in red, flight tongue. Tongue is a little bit thicker, as you can see. It's a thicker puff here, tongue, okay. This one does come with the Nike tag on the inside right there, all right. Nike on the insole. Air Jordan 4 upside down, or Air Jordan upside down with the red, shoe paper. Got a little bit of a softer pull tab, as you can see. It's a little bit softer. Not super soft like the SB4s, but that was a different shoe, but this one is soft. Nike Air in the back, okay, with that placement. Retail pair from the Nike Sneakers app, uh, Shot Drop, all right. Very, very dope shoe, man. Show y'all the other one. This isn't a personal pair. It is a size 11, but this is not the personal pair. I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna get a personal pair of these yet. You feel me? Cause I ain't feeling that 210, 215 price tag. But very, very clean shoe overall, man. I can see why people would like this. It's like a sleeker Jordan 4. Like, it definitely has that OJ, OG shape going on for it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, retail for this shoe was $215, which I am not feeling Jordan brand. But after taxes and everything, it's coming to like $232. So that is not it. Quality is very, very dope. Uh, the shoe is constructed very nicely. No glue stains for the most part. Only thing I do gripe about with the re with this thing is that it did not come with the um the booklet like the reimagined threes did. I would have I would have definitely appreciated that. You know what I'm saying with the reimagined series. This one does not come with the booklet. But outside of that though, it's all good. In my personal opinion, it definitely is a comp. Um, I just don't want to pay 215 for it. You know what I'm talking about? Like they need to make this probably uh, 210, 200. You feel me? And it would have been a go for me, man but i'm still undecided but it is a very very nice shoe in terms of resale i think it's going to be around 270 280 range 250 range on release day maybe a little bit after because a lot of pairs but as pairs sell out and this becomes rarely available then the price will go up eventually it is a jordan 4 for crying out loud you know what i'm talking about uh real quick i do want to show you as compared to my other pair of bread fours uh my 2016 pair which is right here, you know what I'm saying? So I got the 2016 pair. You can see I got the age mid, so you see aging. You know what I'm talking about? I got a special review with these coming real soon, you feel me? But as you can see, just compare it to them real quick, you know, got the new book version, leather version. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe the kind of sort of different toe boxes, so, you know, different toe box, a little bit sleeker on this pair. All right, got that fresh cement paint. Got thinner tones, as you can see, one is thinner, one is thicker. All right, this one did come with these shoe paper pack, shoe paper tags, and this one did not, as you can see. And of course, they got that Nike Air on the back, all right, looking about the same height placement. And this one looks to be a little bit taller than this one. As you can see, this thing is a little bit taller. Same kind of paint for the most part. Of course, the new one is fresher paint. And then, of course, we got them bottom outsoles, you feel me? So just showing y'all a real quick comparison between the two. Nothing really different as outside the leather and the toe box shape. But it's your main man, Shoe Browser. Thank y'all for watching. And of course, we gone.